Good morning, Flint Hill family. This is my daily check-in with you. It is Thursday, April the 26th, and uh, here for our daily encouragement. My verse this morning is Psalm 91. We've been going through all the fear not verses, and uh, this is a great, great passage. Listen to this. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague will come near you. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Uh, the second part of that psalm is pretty cool because it talks of, it's like G, God talking himself, talking about us. Whenever it says him, it's talking about you and me, those that love him. Uh, this is a famous passage where God's, uh, it talks about God uh, protecting us under his wing, like a bird under his wing. That's a great place to be under the wing of our Savior. Uh, and I think it's also interesting that passage talks about the pestilence twice, the pestilence coming at night and the pestilence coming during the day and how he will protect us. So uh, the great words of encouragement. Uh, good to check in with you. Been calling and checking in with people. Hopefully the deacons have been checking in with their deacon families. And so uh, I've been wanting to make more calls, uh, but it's been amazing to me how busy I have been. Uh, all Miss Natalie and I have been going at it, to say the least, trying to... Uh, work this new normal. So take patience. I need your help as church members. Check on each other. Call each other. Call each other in your Sunday school classes uh, and make sure everybody's all right. Spend some time praying for each other and, and do that. All right. Uh, last Yesterday uh, or two days ago, I announced Spiritual Door Dash and I've been highlighting some studies that I can bring right to your door. I don't even have to shake hands with you. I can just set it on your doorpost, and you and your family can use that. Uh, what is your plan for Bible study? Uh, we are uh, doing live stream for worship, but uh, you need to have a plan for your own Bible study, for you and your family, or for you and your spouse. And so uh, we can provide for you spiritual door dash. I can bring a Bible study right to your door that you can use as a family. So I've been highlighting several different uh, Bible studies. We did this over the summer, last summer. Uh, but maybe you weren't with us on Wednesday nights. This is 40 Days in the Word. This will take you 40 days to do. Uh, but it's a great Bible study by um, Rick Warren. And uh, uh, I don't have the booklets available to you, but I do have the DVD study that you can follow along. It's a great, great study. Another great study is The Story. And this is by Randy Fries and... Uh, it is really, really good. We actually have not done this as a church-wide, but it uh, helps uh, you go through the Bible as if it is a story, one complete story. And these videos are fantastic. And so if you'd like to do this one, uh, let me know. Reach out to us by phone number or, or by calling the church office or by emailing us or Facebook Live. 
and I will door dash this to your door. And it won't even cost you anything. You rent it out like it's a library. When you get done, you bring it back, and we'll send it out to somebody else. Also, I can come pray at your door. And so uh, know that that service is available to you, trying to figure out how I can minister to you in this new normal. And people have been making suggestions, maybe even using uh, this daily stream uh, to focus on our kids or maybe even our teenagers. I know that the plan is for Paul, we met yesterday and tried to figure out what the new normal is for that. He's going to check in with each teenager once a week, uh, try to do a Facebook Live with them or just a phone conversation with them so we can check in with them. But each Sunday night, he's going to post a YouTube video and email that to everybody. And it'll be a Bible study on YouTube. And then the teenagers can interact and he can interact with them through the comments. Uh, So we're just trying to figure out what the new norm is um, and how we can minister each other. If you got any ideas, feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Uh, But I want to be here for you during this time. All right, let's see if we've got any responses and people who've checked in. Uh, uh, We have somebody actually watching in Morocco. That's really cool. We ain't just reaching out uh, across uh, our church family or across the country. We're around the world. That's really cool. Thanks for checking in from Morocco. That's pretty cool. Let me say a prayer for you guys, and uh, I want you to know that I love you. And uh, let me pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for this epidemic that is happening across the globe. I pray for Morocco and that you bring safety there and uh, that you'll protect uh, the people there. Lord, help our hospital, help our first responders, help those who work in the hospital. And Lord, uh, we just pray you keep everybody safe. Lord, as we take a look on Monday, we talked about how uh, our first response should be repentance and seek in your face. And many times you send situations like this, so we will draw close to you and we will repent. And the scripture said, if we will repent of our sins and draw close to you, that you will heal our land. Lord, we ask for healing for our land. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for checking in. Tammy, great to see you. Thanks for checking in. And we hope you have a great day. I'll be posting tomorrow, probably from home. And so uh, I'll look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Take care of each other. Check in on each other. And uh, um, I love you. All right. Bye-bye.